probably three years ago, I, I like called myself an artist for the first time. I don't know if anyone ever just like starts being provocative, <laughs> you know? I don't see experiences like mine hung up in museums and so I don't, I don't see that. And so if I have the power to create that, I'm gonna do that. And so that's what I did. My name is Teresa Moses. Um, I am the creative director at Blackbird Revolt, and I'm also an assistant professor of graphic design um, at the University of Minnesota Duluth. I think all of the projects are very frank in what I'm saying. Activism, I think, has always been a part of my life. When I became aware, I think I'm really focused on making sure folks understand what I'm saying through my artwork. I first started teaching back in 2014, probably around 2015, 2016, when I really came into like doing things around natural hair and understanding the power that design had to empower communities, to communicate messages, to bring folks together. Throughout my graduate process, I developed Project Natural. This was the first project that I led I think then I really got to learn about myself. I got to learn about my community in a really intentional way. So I started creating artwork. I was like, okay, it needs to be like fabulous. Like people need to understand that natural hair is a fabulous thing. And so how do I do that using art and design? And so I was like, okay, let me create these posters. And I want the posters to feel like a fashion magazine, like a cover. And I want people to understand that they're, you know, the struggles that they might be going through with their natural hair are something that's relatable to everyone. So then I was like, okay, can I put the quotes of the people that I've interviewed on there? That's how my, my mind began to like turn into crafting a physical space in which black women feel empowered. Umbra is a show that continues to center black women. It was really birthed out of that frustration, out of my anger, out of my resentment for the people who just either don't speak up when they should, or they just sit back and they just live their like, normal life and like don't even question their actions and how it affects um, black women. I kept seeing all the things about the mortality rates of black women who'd be in the same hospital as a white woman but they would die after having their baby or whatever because doctors don't believe them um, and it was just so frustrating to me and so I created a piece from that and then stylized it the way I want to and then the show was birthed from that. I did use women with an X to be trans inclusive. It's not just enough for me to have Project Natural where I'm just centering black women. I have to actually tell everyone else like how they're affecting us. And so for me, Umbra is about validating that, you know, black women, you're, you're not crazy. Like the things that are happening to you, you're not crazy. And then also to be like, everyone else, here's how you're affecting our experience. Blackbird is a song by Nina Simone and it's about black women being caged by society. And so that's where Blackbird Revolt kind of stemmed from is just the brains of myself and Jordan Moses. We ran art exhibitions, we do campaigns and websites. Like we've worked with a, an organization out of the cities who uses singing for social justice. It's called Justice Choir. So we branded their organization, which was a really fun project. We're being able to get opportunities to work with nonprofits who are doing some of the things that we value. I just don't even remember a time where I was in a space where Black women have been centered. When opportunities like the WTF show come up, even though I could be like slammed and I wanna just do something where I'm not having a client say, change that, I don't like that. You know, people talk about self-care, self-care. To be able to express those things in a visual way, using my craft to talk about experience. I see what I do in my work with Project Natural and Umbra as a way to relieve myself, as a way to heal. I would definitely say like I've grown into it, like learned how to merge my heart for community and activism into like what I do with my craft. Funding for Intersections is brought to you by the Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the citizens of Minnesota.